Hello beautiful people, welcome once more to another very exciting edition of um, this series on the mixed color shape. Today we will be talking about the application form and I'm gonna run you through on how to register by yourself and submit this to your embassy. But before we go deep into the subject matter, I would like you to hit on subscribe. Thank you very much. Great. Thanks for supporting us by hitting on subscribe. I also like you to share this video with your friends and your colleagues and your family because it's very important. And as I know, a lot of people are trying to actually have a scholarship to study in, in Japan, in any of the universities and in any of the fields. So this is for um, just those who are out of college and undergrad and postgraduate students. So it's for everyone who wants to study either you know bachelor's degrees master degrees or a phd program in japan so thank you very much i'm definitely gonna leave the links in the description box but i'd like you to follow through with me as i run you through the application form and actually what you need to do right it's very important for you to um, follow step by step and make sure you consult your um, embassy or the embassy of japan in your country as this may vary and remember I said in the previous video that the closing date is very very different for different embassies and different in different countries so you want to check that out um, on the Japanese embassy of your country so just go on Google type the name of your country and Japanese embassy of you know your country and then it's gonna come out you see the requirements but I'm gonna run you generally again through the requirements very quick but today we'll be talking about the application form and please I'd like you to follow guys I'm gonna show you exactly um, how the mixed scholarship functions and bear with me I'm just gonna show you this website for the University of Tokyo all right so the first thing you want to do is that uh, you want to refer to application guidelines so um, for details be sure to click here and then there is two categories okay there is for research students you can enroll as this or um, a graduate international research student and then there is a second category which is for undergraduate students so for undergraduate students, please make sure you check on the requirement. But what happens is that generally undergraduate students, they have a what they call a preparatory school um, designated by MEX, where they will go there and they will spend a year to study the Japanese language. Of course, they would be covered as if they had already started their program, study the Japanese language and other subjects are necessary for them. To get into the particular field that they want to study all right that's when you're just from high school and they try as much as possible to respect your first choice okay but then they will do that um based on your result of the examination on the primary screening of your maybe your degrees from your home country your academic achievement in the preparatory school you know their grantees or, or your proposed major subject what you want to study and also the capacity of your receiving university so it is this really varies all right this really varies depending on what's going on there is also um, a part way through the embassy recommendation refer to the embassy in your area of application to make sure that um, you know when is your closing deadline for your documents so you must contact them click here to find out what's the embassy or consulate or um, the consular office in your region and you can easily get that and you would require some kind of um, letter from someone in a department it's it's quite all these things are very easy to get so don't worry number two a university in japan can recommend you for instance if you have someone who's living in japan and talks to a certain supervisor about you and they are willing to support you for your studies all they need to do is just write a letter or an email to say oh okay they are willing to support you in your research and that's and that's an application they send that to your embassy and your embassy accepts and that's all you're good to go your embassy forwards your documents here and um, that's a very pretty easy way so i'm gonna leave the link for this in the description box and you can get it so i'm just gonna rush you through the application form 
so this is the application form for instance you can easily put your name in here let's say um, I'm gonna write mine Chris um, okay, like that. and if I'm a male I'm just gonna check on the mail here and if I'm married just gonna write this for instance you can write that or you can write that in full and I'm not a Japanese national all right because if you're a Japanese national then you have to write when you became a Japanese national date of birth you can enter your date of birth here for instance and I'm just putting all right this is not my real date of birth this is just for for reference only and this will be about let's see I'm 32 years old uh, you can put your um, current address um, it can be um, West Street um, you can put West, something like that um, 2041 USA this is just for your information all right this is not correct um, and if you currently reside in Japan then you should put um, what's your current status for instance for me let's say worker your address if you're living in Japan you put same as above if um, it's different you can check here and you can put in um, that all right and then name of Jap uh, the Japanese diplomatic office where you would apply for let's say Washington for instance Washington. Washington DC or USA um, then before so you make sure you want to make sure you fit in all of this um, if you have um, say um, a Japanese contact you want to put it um, in email address all right you want to write in your email address correctly and make sure that this is really correct um, the name of the school may be University Tokyo. If you're living in Japan and you're employed, you want to write the name of your organization here. Um, you want to put in your specialized field, let's say um, medicine. You can put anything or I don't know, engineering. You, you can put anything all right and then you know here is about your academic record you want to say where you went to elementary school all right let's say Clinton elementary school just fill out this information for your lower secondary education you know junior high um, and then senior high school and tertiary education after that have you been awarded the max scholarship before um if it's yes it's yes if it's no it's no all right you can check that and then you just carry on to answer these other questions are you applying for any other japanese scholarship maybe you're applying for others you say yes if not you say no and then are you receiving are you receiving um or scheduled to be receiving any scholarship from organization other than the japanese government um no um if yours you should check yours and you have to explain you, sh you put the name of the sponsor here okay and then field of studies may be social sciences and humanities or I say natural sciences um just say maybe natural sciences all right you check either box e either of the boxes it just depends on what you're doing and your first choice you want to put it here maybe you want to do um sociology or something i don't know and that should be a social science you know um there is a list of these courses um on the official max website where a course like this has a particular number so you want to attribute the number of your course to the subject okay let's say you're doing the human biology all right you can do human biology like that or something you can write it down and you can put the course number 
and then there's also a course section is a course a b or c i'm gonna leave the link in the description box your second choice should be here maybe biochemistry and your choice should be here maybe uh, anthropology i don't know anthropology all right there is also um field of study number two so there's just natural sciences and then there's other ones the specific reasons why you selected each of the fields you know you want to give why did you take that first choice you want to explain um, that you particularly love it and um you you know you should have a goal you should use numbers in terms of giving your statistics like um, maybe according to um, XYZ journal today, there is fewer engineers or there's fewer or people have more problems as lingua anthropology. It's it's a passion that you really want. And that's why you've seen that um, Japan, it's a, it's a gold standard for you to study there and you would really um, want this opportunity. So it just depends on everyone. You have your story to tell. And same thing for your second choice and your third choice. You don't have to write long aces, all right? Just a brief description is okay for this space because I'm sure um, I think they have a certain number of characters that above which you cannot enter anymore it was a trigger for having an interest in Japan. Why are you coming to Japan? You know, it's technology. And then you have to talk about your Japanese language. Maybe you want to put zero, zero, zero for all of this if you don't know anything in, Jap in Japanese. English, you want to write, you know, um, for your listening, reading, writing, speaking. And then other, other languages, you can speak French, you want to write there French, for instance. All right, and then you want to say exactly if you have a French test call. If you don't have, just put zero zero or one one. This is what you should write. Three, maybe three, maybe three, and maybe two, depending on you, right? That's just your case. This is three, 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 three. All right, that's for excellent poor. For Japanese, you want to put the same thing here. For those who took TOEFL and IELTS, you could want to put them there. And then um, the contact person in your home country in case of an emergency, you want to put those information right here. Okay, and then past period of stay in Japan. If you've ever been to Japan before, you put it there. And then you sign here, all right? You bring this out, sign here, put the date. And this is your application for 2022 for undergraduate students. There's a special appli other applications for graduate students. So please, you wanna make sure you check this out that you're not using um, undergraduate if you're a graduate student. All right, so that was about it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for following. Please like, share, subscribe, share this video to your friends and your colleagues and share the good news. If you have any questions and anything that you want me to talk about, Please leave them down in the comment box and I'm gonna definitely revert to you and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Until then, please stay safe. Bye.